I made a video recently explaining lazy loading of components in React with React.lazy and I got asked what's the difference between this and dynamic imports. So I'm going to explain that in this video using this simple example. So here we have a static import for this component but here in our code we only show another component when show another component is true. When we click this button Shonda component becomes true and this component renders here. But because this is a static import, this will be included in our bundle even if we don't need that component immediately. In this case, this is a small application so it doesn't matter but in a big application, one way you can improve this is instead of importing this statically, we are going to import this here with the lazy function from React. So this lazy function is going to take a callback here and in this callback, we're going to import the component like this. Here, I'm also going to import suspense. And now, instead of rendering the component like this, I can do it like this using the suspense. So now, this way, this component, another component, is not going to be included in our bundle until we actually need it. You see, we have bundle.js, but when I click this and it becomes true, then this component will be fetched from the server and as you can see here i now have src components another component js so here we're using the lazy function but why can't we just use the dynamic import directly dynamic imports in javascript allow us to import modules dynamically sometimes conditionally depending on your use case for example here we're importing some expensive long code and this is a static import. So again, this will be included in our bundle. And then here we have this run expensive code. If run expensive code is true, then we're going to run the expensive code. Maybe your condition here is checking if a user is authenticated or checking certain conditions. Now, in this case, we only need some expensive code when this is true. So instead of importing it statically like this, we can instead come here to say if run expensive code is true then we have a dynamic import which is the import keyword and this is going to return a promise so when that import is fulfilled we have the exported module here and since we exported this with the export keyword we can assess it by saying exported dot this now this way this module would only be imported when this is true so why can't we do the same thing for react components like this why do we need to use the lazy function as we are here well let's try it out so instead of saying const another component equals to lazy this i'm going to remove all of this lazy and i'm just going to say const another component equals to import this so when i have it like this and here i'm going to render another component if i should click this we're going to have an error it says that react.js type is invalid expected a string but got an object and the reason why we have this error is because this import returns a promise and in react you cannot just render promises directly but this lazy function is going to return a modified version of that component that can allow you render your component when the promise is resolved. And we can actually implement this lazy function ourselves. Here is a simple way we can implement it. So here I can have a function called lazy another component. In this function, I'm going to keep state for component and the default state is just fragments then here i'm going to return the component but then i would have a use effect which is going to run when the component is mounted and then here i can take this import from here and here i can import this component and again because this is a promise i can say then i get the exported and since this another component is a default component i can assess that on default so i can say set component exported dot default and that lazy component i can comment this for now show this i can render that here so this is our own version of a lazy component if i should check the network tab again you see we have bundle.js but when i click on this component now we have src component another component down here so this is pretty much what the lazy function is doing. The lazy function is taking the promise that is gotten from here and sort of modifying it to a component that you can render. This is the difference between React Lazy and Dynamic Import. You cannot do Dynamic Import because it returns a promise that you cannot render. But when you use the lazy function, it is returning a component that you can render, which still takes advantage of the Dynamic Imports that you can achieve with the Import keyword.